Today, I want to talk about configuration of electric fencing. I feel this is so important because most of our installers, we don't know how to configure our fencing. So today, I want to take us through this. Configuring your electric fence. Okay, now where we have most of the common kind of um, configuration we should talk about is either configuring the six line or what or the eight lines. Let's take the six line first. Now this is your bracket. Two, three, four, five, six. Yes. Okay. This is one section. I said this is one part of a particular fence. And let me just do it so that I have another section so that we might get the explanation well. Okay, this is another section. Two, three, four, five, six. Okay, this is it. So let's see, there's also the middle pole so you understand better what I'm trying to explain here. Okay, this can also have middle poles. Okay, these are the middle poles. Okay, now, now this, you can see these are the brackets. All these are brackets. So with these ones, they are brackets. They are brackets. Excuse me. They are brackets. Okay. Brackets. Now, how do you configure this? One thing you should have at the back of your mind is when configuring your face, you should understand something. Now, we're talking about security here. If you're talking about security, you should understand the area you should first think about is the top and the bottom. I, said, I mean the top and the bottom. As I tell there's anybody that wants to come in here, the first area that you first think of, okay, I want to try to breach security. And I start from this place, I start from this place. So it means those areas you must make sure from your energizer. You let's say this is the energizer that powers the fence, okay? Okay, and um, this is your terminal one, two, you have two here, okay? You have two here. I'll do it such way. These are your, your, okay, one is your out. Let's say this is out, and this is return. And these, these two, both of these, they are eight. You know, most times our energizer comes with this part looped. If you're talking about the name tech, let's say it's a name tech, name tech energizer. Okay. Now let me just do let's say um, a bottom shot of this energizer. What you will see there is something like this. This is how it is from the bottom. You have two here, two terminals here, and you have another two terminals here. This is out, fence out. This is fence return. This is X. You see the eight uh, symbol there up, okay? Up. There is a loop here, okay? But this part is left open because this is the part that goes to your fence that feeds the the the, 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 the live area of the fence. You see, fence out. That is live out, live return. That's what you see most times here. Okay, let's go to our configuration. 
since we're talking about the top and the bottom areas, there's there's high tendency tendency for risk. Or if you want somebody to say there should be an intrusion, anybody that wants to breach anything security here, we first think of okay, let me start from the top, cut from the top top. It will be so stupid because I understand as a, a security personnel where you, you also need to think like them. Uh, you need to think like that psychology. You must think the way a thief would think or someone who wants to bubble your house the way they should think. And people like that, they think, okay, I should pass here. It will be stupid of you to say you want to fly through the middle. No. So now, this leads us to how we configure our things. Now, configuration that I know works mostly is having this first one, this first line as a line. And you have this bottom also as a line. This line and this line. The first one line. Let me start. I can do it here also. Line and line. Fine. We have one, two, three, four left. So what do we do? We also need F inside as a panel. What we need to do is to pick this because it is essential for you to understand that it is good having your F and your life close to each other. You have life and earth close to each other. Now, you take this as your F, okay? You take this one also as your F. Here also you can have, then you need to have your life also here. Live here and the live here. Same applies to this. So the configuration I want to teach you about today is a live at live live at live. That's one of the standard configuration you need to use for your electric fence, especially when dealing with even if it's animal farm, your animal farm kind of this is one of the best configuration to use. So we understand that you have a live here, you have an earth here. You have a life close to this life is an earth also. Close to this life is an earth also. Close to this life is an earth also. So you have them all together, close side by side. Same also as this. So how do we look this? For example, this energizer. I'm going to connect this energizer to this um, to this face. Now I need to link this face with this, where I have a single loop. And I want you to understand today that. Electric fence principle is based on a, sim a single loop, a single loop line. What do I mean by a single loop line? It's just a line, this kind of line. You see, I, 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 by the time we are done with this, I will show to you that the electric fence is just kind of one kind of closed circuit, a closed circuit. Like, do I say it's a cycle? Um, you can use a cycle or you can use a complete box. Or is a complete box from one end you must get to the same end if you go around you get to the, if this is point a let's say this is point a if you leave point a when you're coming back by the time you leave point a every movement must go around and return to point a if this is point a here in this circle if you move from point a here by the time you go around when you get back there you return to point a anything contrary to this is wrong and that is what most installers they do on site today you go to site you see them they will leave point a they will now be instead of this maybe instead of them having this you now have something that goes like this maybe it gets here it gets to a again and you see another one here again gets to a so you're not having so many routes that takes you to point a no it's not acceptable you shouldn't have Two routes taking you to point A. It was just be living here, it's returning. Either it's coming through this day, you don't have this at all. You don't have this at all, or you have this, or you have this, and this is out. I don't know if you understand, I will explain. Okay, fine. Let's say our energizer is leaving point, is leaving at this point. I'll tag this as point A. This is point A. And whatever we have in, okay, no, I, I can't tag this as point A. Now, this energizer, here, yeah, here is point A. This is it here. So we're taking this one out from here now. We want to feed this fence, okay? 
my app comes here. Okay. So maybe we have this. This is fence out. Okay, like we said, live at live live at live. Let me make it clearer the problem. Okay, live live at live. Great. Here, this live is supposed to feed another live, which is this one. Okay, now. Now if this goes all the way, okay. Now look at the direction of the movement of this flow of current. Now comes from here to another light. This is another light. Good. So it means we have life here also. Now you know what I may want to do. I can decide to let me complete this panel because. If I want to teach you the professional way, I might have just taken this one from here, feed this, then return it back here. But let me make things easy for you. Okay? Audio, okay, let me make that, let me make it easy. Now from here, this one goes to the other line. Good. Now this is the output. Now this one here. This one ought to go like this, great, like this, so it's coming out here. Well, we have the mind of feeding this. What do I do? I can take this one from here, all the way. Note, this number one is live at, at, live, live, at, live. Just like you have here for the configuration. This one comes in here, okay. It goes to meet the other live, okay. This live returns to this one and this one to this other one, great, okay. Now we have this one. This cannot come to back to the Nigeria, back to point A. Let me show you something. I want to show you that this is just one wire thing, the direction of this, let me show you this, sorry, okay, this direction, you see, the flow of voltage through that path, okay, I want to show you why I said it ought to come this way. But if you see some other kind of loop, some kind of looping some people do most times in the site, they will do it such that they just begin to collect from anywhere. They can come here, they can collect one from here, and they just loop just, just anyhow. But with what I've done here, you see, from point A to point A. Now, let's go through the, the movement. Now, this is it. You can see the parts. See the parts. See the parts, okay, you see the parts, back to this point. But most persons, and you should understand electric fencing must be done in series. If your fence is not on series and you, you think you've done the right thing, it's wrong. If it's not on series, most of the, see most of the fences you see around, they are all on parallel. Why I said is wrong if you don't have it on series because by the time an intruder comes in, I do a shabby installation. Let me let me uh, should I explain that? I don't think I need to go through that. But from this electric space, the energizer works with a kind of a closed circuit system. If you do it so that it is in parallel, by the time there's a, a bridge on any of the line. I'll tell you, if this line, there's a bridge and maybe somebody decides to cut this line off, this energizer, it triggers this energizer. If they decide to come here to cut this, this energizer, it will trigger it. But if it's in parallel, because you're having double connections, maybe one from here, like I said, it's not allowed. If this is point A, for example, okay? If that's point A, it is wrong having this like this you have one coming to point a another one coming to point a it is wrong 
Because by the time there is a break here, this one still act as if the fence is working. I don't know if you get that. So that's why I said you must have it so that it's in series. So that by the time any of the line, the, the line of a connection is broken, the alarm will trigger. By the time you open this place, if here is open, there's no connection to this and to this energizer. It senses it point. Energizer is in point A. Senses it, the alarm goes up. Fine. If it, if it is covered, if you come here, you open this. By the time it does not see any return, get any return signal back to the energizer, the energizer goes up. But in scenarios where you decide to say, okay, it is now done in, in parallel. You have a parallel connection. If this place is open, you can see this is still giving feedback to this place, like the system is okay. Then your alarm would not go up. Everyone sees it as a fence that is still working. This is just the configuration for a six a six line uh, connection. Okay, we also have um, the eight line. Let me do that. The eight line. The connection for the eight line the configuration is this. You have this, right? you have this, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You're not going to be fast with this, okay? These are your bobbins on the fence, okay, okay, okay. Yes, now, for the configuration of your eight line fence, fence is this way. Note the top and the bottom must take what live, which is like this. You have your live here. Okay, let me come here. This is your live and the bottom live. So, how do we configure this? You need to wonder how I'm going to do this. Okay, now. Since your head is supposed to be somewhere around the top and the middle, then it is better you have another light here. Then here you have another light. Then here you have head. Here you have a light. You have another light and you have your head. Without, you will not have here light, light, head, light, light, head, light, 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 light. This is the configuration for um, eight line uh, uh, connection. This is the right configuration. Live life, it's live life, it's live life, it. You can also try this. Try if you have, if you think you have any other one that you can recommend, just try it and you can send, you can give us a send to our, our comment section, just a picture. Let's see what you think you have. But professionally, this is how it should be. The live life edge, the live life edge, the live life edge. You see, it's a balanced connection. This has its edge here. This one is edge here, it's edge here. This one also has edge here. So this is how it is. So if you're taking any connection, maybe you have your energizer from here, okay? Energizer comes from here, for example. Maybe this enters this. This one comes to the live. Then this come to the other life. This one to this life, this to this life, and this to this life. They have a return to the energizer. So these are the configuration I want you to understand. If you've been doing any other thing contrary to this, the, the sixth line and the eighth line. Yes. If you have any other thing, configure, uh, okay. If you have anything contrary to this, then it means uh, you need to take a closer look, look at it. I don't want to say it's wrong, but now these are your life, life, earth, life, life, earth, life, life, earth. Then your earth connection goes to your earth. And there are ways you can also do it so that you can remove the loop at the bottom of your energizer where you have two, two cables going to feed in the earth. One goes to the, the bottom one. 
and this closes you now have that loop here you have that loop here remove you remove the one at the bottom of the energizer then this one remove move back to the energizer so when the when the earth is even broken any of the if any of them is broken the alarm or the, the siren will, will, will trigger so these are ways you can configure your energizer so i think at this junction i want to stop for today in our next class i think i will give you other connect other things you need to know about your electric fencing but to meet in our next class don't have a nice day thanks for your time